We are here working on the bumper bunks of my pontoon trailer. Um, as you can tell, these rubber ones aren't doing so good. Um, originally had wood ones and I wanted a more permanent fix at some point in time. Um, so I thought these rubber ones would work well. It was actually really stiff rubber when I first got them. And as you can imagine, this pontoon bumping up against them with this big uh, airspace there eventually collapses them pretty well. And then these bolts come out because there's no metal reinforcement in that hole. That hole just kind of falls apart. So, went on Amazon, bought some new bigger squares, rectangles, whatever. Um, these are closer to what you see on the back of like semi truck trailers. Um, I think these will work good and won't, they don't have any give to them. Um, this has got a metal reinforcement inside of it so the bolts won't pull through. We'll see how it works. First I gotta take these old ones off. I have enough room for a bumper maybe either way this is gonna have to move backwards because the boat's sitting a little farther back than I'd like so oh and uh, to top it all off at some point I smashed into this thing really hard one day and bent the crap out of that part so eventually I'm gonna cut that off bend it down, re-weld it, but not today. I'm just gonna get the bumper fixed for now. Just gotta loosen those a little bit. Hey, Myla. Hi. Are you interested in what I'm doing? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna work on the trailer? Go lay down. Let me, let me work. Go lay down. Good girl. Ugh. All right, just need these loose enough to move. Like that. Now it's really moving. All right. I believe this guy's about two inches further back, maybe an inch than I want it to be. I want to top it all off. These holes are lining up. Not sure which hole I should go by. Probably this one. Yeah, probably that one. So. Better yet, I should probably just get a measuring tape. Make this a whole lot easier. Huh. Alright, measuring tape acquired. So. Need. Actually, I should probably tighten these up in here. These washers that I got to fit flush in there don't fit super well. So I gotta. Kind of hammer them in with the impact first, which I don't have an open-ended wrench to do that with. That's three-quarter. All right. Yeah, garage is a mess. Give me a break. 
what are you gonna do? Tools are fairly organized. That's the important part. Hopefully I have a three quarter. I do. Ratcheting ones. Good old Harbor Freight ratcheting wrenches. Can't grab a ratcheting wrench without flinging it around like this. At least a few times. Required. All right. Tighten. Press these guys all the way in. I think we got it in there good. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be behind steel. Once that's said and done. So that's not a big deal that that's uh, digging into the rubber. I guess I didn't really have to do all this first. But, since I'm here, might as well do them all. Oop. All right, these ones are good. Freshly installed giant fender washers. There's more in here. Except for, oh, there's the other one. Old hardware over there. Woo! These are hot. It's only like 109 today. So, that's nice. All you guys complain about the heat somewhere else when it's 90 or 80 or oh, that one's going in nice. I don't even need to type that one down. That's cool. Just remember, it could be 109. It could be working outside. Oh, it's because I've already installed one there. Whoops. That's going to be fun to get out. Got that guy out. It wasn't too bad. Put this one over here. So stop messing with it. Grab this one. I mean, maybe it'll go in that easy. Because it's hot. Nope, not really. Whoo! That's hot. Whoo! Dropping stuff. It's hot. I'm good at this. Where'd the new one go? Probably on the other side of the fence. Yep. There you are. All right. GoPro battery is not liking the heat. So I'm gonna try to do this fast. Maybe a few more breaks to make sure I get video of everything. Right, guys I had to take a break because GoPro is freaking out it does not like the heat so we need to measure hold a hole in this so I drill holes in the correct place all right let's do from the one to get a more accurate measurement oh I was like did Milo just jump on the boat Holy cow! She jumps on the boat sometimes, or at least she used to. Okay, looks like six inches. Six. And then I guess I should probably make sure 
this hole's the right size. Put all this stuff away so it wouldn't burn me to death. Oh, that's not what I need. That's what I need. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right, none of them the right size. So, gotta get out this here reamer, also known as drill bit. Drill that puppy out. Oh boy. By the way, the correct way to do this is probably to wear gloves and eye protection, so don't listen to me. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Whew! Doesn't even feel like we're close. Get a little bit close, we're getting caught. Which is usually about where I break my wrist. Somewhere around here. This can be a little bit bigger. So, feel free to ream it out in an oblong shape a little bit so you know you got it in. All right, now six inches down. Exactly. Is right about there. This is a very exact science using the thumb technique to mark where this goes. Oh boy. Realistically, you should have like a punch or something that centers that. Make sure that's close. It's really using a precision game. So as you can tell, I'm not taking it very seriously. Sometimes slower is better, sometimes faster is better. I don't seem to be doing all that great. Seeing through the other side here pretty soon. Once we get there, this gets a whole lot easier. Many unbearable hours later. This is gonna come uh, go through pretty soon. Try not to destroy my hand. Yep, I can see the other side. It's gonna catch any minute now. My hand's gonna be destroyed. Sometimes this will work. To help clear it out a little more, yep. The battery's dying again. But you pretty much get the point. Drilling holes in metal. So, GoPro battery was overheating. All I did was Mount one up, make sure it fit, then finish drilling over here. So we're gonna mount this last one. Then we just gotta tighten the this guy down. Should be good to go. Guess I should probably make sure this fits too, huh? Before I tighten it down. Oh yeah, like a glove. Oh, there goes the bolt.
so hot. I'm okay with the heat, I'm not okay with touching hot tools. That sucks. Of course that doesn't fit there. Of course that's not gonna fit there. So this one's gonna have to go on manually, which sucks. No one likes to do things manually when you got Milwaukee. All right, there's that one. And uh, let's go get the tool. All right, ratchet. This is hot. A lot hotter when you have to hold it for longer. Whew. All right, drastic improvisions. That's much better. My hand's actually burnt from holding hot tools. So that's exciting. Get this one a little tighter. The impact couldn't get in there very well. All right. Now, just slide this back forward where it belongs, which is about inch it away. An inch away from this guy. Like that's probably about right. I brought the right socket over. I think it's this one still. Yep. All right. Oh, it's not tightening one side down too far. Then it's all cattywampus. And that's no good. No one likes cattywampus. Let me hammer it down and send it. And put this guy back where he belongs. Started. Send it. Extra tight. That won't go anywhere. And then we'll uh, we'll address that later. I don't know if I'll make a video of that or not. It's not gonna be very exciting. I'm just gonna cut this guy off there, and then probably hammer this down, tack weld it, and then I might put a relief cut in this hammer that down flat again and just weld it in place or I'll cut it off cleanly and make it nice I don't know we'll see but yeah I think this will work good alright only time will tell See if this rubber breaks down real fast or not. Anyway, thanks for watching, all you Jake Offs. I think I've decided I'm gonna call you all Jake Offs. That's gonna be your name. Like it, love it. Watch the next episode. We're gonna go to the lake here in just a second. See you there.